Mmm, another installment of judging people while wearing sweatpants. Today's sweatpants are sweat plants. Thank you. Hi everybody! I am ba 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 back again with another red carpet rose. I know, I just put one up last week. <laughs> <coughs> I'm so tired. However, I am not as tired as a lot of the looks on last night's Emmy's red carpet. I just went through and picked a bunch of red carpet looks and I think that this should have been the People's Choice Awards because people made choices. I do want to say thank you to everybody who was at my Philadelphia show. That shit was so fun! But now we need to go roast some vegetables, so let's do this. However, before we get into it, as always, this is just meant to be fun. I don't actually give a fuck. I mean, to drive the point home, I didn't even shave for this. Then again, it didn't look like half of these people really prepared for it either, so let's consider it a level playing ground. First up, we have Ayo Edibiri, and I think she looks good. I think she looks sleek. I think she looks chic and sexy. I will say, and I don't really know why, but this is giving me deflated whoopee cushion, but in like the best way possible. Like, she's putting the art in fart, you know? Ayo! Cool dress. <laughs> Next up we have Jennifer Coolidge and this makes me want to be put down real bad. Yeah, Jennifer, this is not a Cinderella story. Put this in the trash can. That being said, Jennifer Coolidge is so Jennifer Coolidge that like, it still doesn't look bad, but I do hate the dress in fact. Like, she looks good and put together. The dress, however, does not. Next up we have Quinta Brunson, and Quinta baby, I don't care if this is Dior or Couture. It just looks like this dress needs a little steam, and honestly so am I because I'm already running out of it. Quinta, this is quintessentially awful. I don't know, it's just not working for me and it's making me really want to repeat the same joke I made in the Golden Globes video. Next up we have Selena Gomez and oh my god, this is that rare kind of beauty, as in so rare I wish I wasn't looking at it, you know, like Bigfoot. Or a Yeti. I don't understand what this dress is, what its life goals are, what its vision for 2024 is. I understand why there were murders in the building. Because a bitch was wearing this dress. This is just actually horrendous. I don't understand how someone so pretty can look so bad. I don't care, Gomezators. This is awful. You look wizards of Waverly out of place. Next up we have Jenna Ortega and she looks just like a, a, a cute little woman wearing a dress. I would bet almost my entire life that this is a Dior dress, just by looking at it. I'm only saying that because it is very pretty and well made, but it... It does look boring. Like, babe, how are you gonna be Wednesday Adam and look like a Monday? Speaking of looking like a Monday, the hair. Is this... Is this a thing we're doing? Just not doing it? I've seen girls show up to first period of high school with hair done better than this. And that's just a fact. Bug, you're snoring louder than some of these outfits, and that's impressive because some of these are... Loud. Next up we have Jessica Chastain and what in the Veggie Tales? All I can think is that she's cast in a live action version of Veggie Tales and she is in fact playing the role of celery. I can't unsee it. <laughs> I cannot unsee it. Like am I wrong? I literally have celery in my fridge that wore the same thing. The color I wish was slightly different because it feels like I can't tell if it's close to being good or close to being horrible. I do love the fringe on this dress. I kind of wish the whole dress was that because it would be far more interesting. Next up we have Ali Wong and listen, I'm gonna do the planet some good. I'm gonna recycle. To quote me from my Golden Globes video, Ali, the only thing missing in this outfit is an R because it's Ali wrong. No, but like really this is wrong. This is so wrong. This is just genuinely horrible, and I don't think that there's a redeeming part of any of it. I'm just so confused what's happening. The top looks like she's going to the Emmys. The bottoms looks like she's just leaving an anthropology with a new skirt. Next up, we have Aubrey Plaza, and I'm really having trouble deciding if I like this or not, but I think I'm leaning towards liking it. I just think it's a fun and different kind of shape and silhouette. I think it looks gorgeous on her. And I don't know, maybe we'll come back to it. Let's put a pin in it. <laughs> Next up we have Issa Rae and... God, this is crazy. I just want to know who her stylist is because it's very confusing. I feel so bad because I do love Issa Rae and I want to say something positive about her red carpet style. But oh my god, why does this look like an abominable snowman? It just doesn't feel like there's any shape to it. The neckline doesn't feel right. Then again, neither does the whole thing. So Issa, baby, Issa, another look. That looks bad. Like from her hand down, the dress just looks like wet animal fur. And it's like not in a chic serving cunt way. It's in like a 
do we need to get PETA involved kind of way. Next up we have Natasha Lyonne, and I think that this dress is so interesting. I love how flowing yet rigid it looks. This is like if a knight in shining armor started an OnlyFans. I love it. I really do. That being said, I absolutely hate the way her hair is styled. I understand maybe it's giving like a Joan of Arc, but burn it. At the stake, bitch. <laughs> Next up we have Megan Fahey from White Lotus, and that is a white lady in a red velvet dress with roses. Um, I mean, yeah, the dress is a really pretty color of red, and it looks good on her. The flowers just look kind of cheap, like, there's not even a dozen roses on that. We've got bottom-feeding men buying their woman fucking dozens of roses. I mean, what are we doing here? It's fine. It's fine. Next up we have Tracy Ellis Ross, and I think she looks so good. I know it's just a white outfit, but the structure and silhouette of it is gorgeous. I love the way the hips come out. I love the way the back of the skirt sort of comes out and the front is just kind of straight on. And honestly, her smile is just everything. Like she could be wearing a glad trash bag and I'd be like, it looks gorgeous with that smile. It's simple but effective and it looks put together. And that's more than I can say about most people at this event. Next up we have Jessica Williams and this dress is gorgeous. I love that this looks like a mix of a men's tux and a woman's wedding dress. Honestly, I might need to borrow it at this point because the only person that I see myself marrying is myself. Which, wow, that was a fucking bleak sentence. She looks elegant. She looks unique without looking like a clown. This is probably one of my favorite looks of the night. This is exquisite. Everyone else take notes. Next up, we have Kourtney Kardashian Barker and Travis Barker. I'm gonna be totally transparent and honest. I thought that was Demi Lovato. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I understand that they're in matching tuxes. However, Travis Barker, throw on some heels and lose the shirt underneath. If you're gonna do it, do it right. <laughs> Next up, we have Katherine Heigl, who I always want to call Katherine Kegel. So sorry. I surprisingly don't hate this look. I mean, it's not for me, but I do think she looks elegant and polished. The dress is well-fitting and interesting. I do like what's going on with her Emmys and how there feels like there's this structural movement. The bottom part of the dress, however, looks like the paper backgrounds at photo shoots after the shoot is over. Like, it looks like crumpled paper, is I guess what I'm trying to say. Next up, we have Katherine Hahn and Honey. I would just love to see some of these stylist Pinterest boards because you cannot convince me that the passengers of the Mayflower were not on her stylist Pinterest board. I don't believe it. I'm sorry, she is serving Pilgrim. <laughs> like, she is serving colonial woman in New England in tattered Pilgrim clothes because I forgot to pack before hopping on the Mayflower. She just looks like she's been on the Oregon Trail for months. Next up we have Amy Poehler and I would parks and recommend this dress to a few other people on the carpet instead of what they actually wore. It's simple but I think she looks gorgeous. It fits well. The color suits her beautifully. Considering her hair is short, I don't know what else she could have done with it and I don't think it looks awful. I don't know. She just looks like a tall glass of red wine that I would love to immediately consume just to cope with the rest of these outfits. Next up we have Bill Hader and... <sighs> that tux is not the one. I don't know how a man can fuck up a tux so poorly. I know he was on SNL, but he's taking just an L. Next up, we have Lizzie Kaplan, and this is beautiful. I think it's flattering. I think it's interesting without being insane. This is just a really gorgeous award show dress, in my opinion. I do kind of wish she had some sort of necklace to kind of fill that dead space. I'll take this. I will take this and make fetch happen. Next up, we have Donald Glover, and I don't love her, but I appreciate the effort. Even down to those little ballet flats. <laughs> I love this sort of like cigar lounge jacket. The flowers are her choice. Yeah, I kind of want to smoke some flower just to make this more palatable. I really think if he lost the embroidery at the bottom of the pants and got different shoes, this would be much better. But hey, I appreciate not seeing a boring tux, so thank you. I guess. Next up, we have Charlie Puth, and wow, this is not making my poothy throb. <laughs> that was so insane. Yeah, there, yeah, that, yeah, um, it looks like he's trying to create a COVID vaccine at six and has the Emmys at seven, and then, like, maybe has to conduct an opera at eight. Oh, wait, I can hear what note this is. It's a big fucking F. Next up, we have Coleman Domingo, and Coleman, I hope you Domingo stay. If you are going to do the black tux with white shirt, please take 
notes. This longer classical tux jacket, the heeled boot? Coleman, we don't deserve you. We really don't. Next up we have Abby Elliott, and I can't lie to the American people, this took me like a solid 20 minutes for my brain to fully understand that her boobies were not out. It is a very confusing dress that I'm not really sure that I'm enjoying to the full capacity. I do think that the neckline could really be doing something, I just think it's kind of falling a little low. Like I think if it were pulled up it would be a little more visually interesting. However, this just looks like she's got her awards out. And also the hair. Are hairstylists on strike? What's happening? Like literally, I had bitches roll up to sixth grade with hair done better than this. I don't get it. Next up, we have Jay Smith Cameron. And wow, is that a walking curtain panel. Her dress would honestly be really pretty if it didn't have those insane sleeves. The only thing this dress reminds me of is like, you know when you see like a really old stuffy British house and it's got like those couches. It looks like an old stuffy British couch. So I'm so sorry to Jay, whatever the rest of her name is. Next up we have Simona Tabasco and this is the Tabasco I needed for this meal because goddamn, this is hot, bitch. I remember seeing this dress on the runway and it is phenomenal. This is such a fun take on a floral print and I feel like I've never seen it done like this. From top to bottom, this is a perfect look in my opinion. I'm gonna have to contribute to her dress and add a gold star. This is great. Next up we have Joel Kim Booster and listen, I understand that this is a tux and it's really not that special besides the fact that it is my favorite color of brown. <laughs> that being said, it fits him well. I love how it's not black and it is a subtle gorgeous brown and the shoes have such nice detail on them with the buckles. I don't know if this guy is straight, but straight men, you can do this, you know? Next up we have Garcelle Bouvet from Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I don't know if it's just because I've seen some of the outfits she wears on Beverly Hills, but this is not her worst. It's far from her worst, in fact. I know that this is the most insane thing to clock from the start, but I hate the bracelet. There is something about it that makes this feel cheaper. I think the silhouette is good. I think it is very flattering. I love that it looks like she just found a giant crow in the wild and put one of its wings across her titties. <laughs> Next up we have Emily Hampshire from Shit's Creek and take away the creek because this is just shit. I really am so sorry. It just looks like she took a giant red bed sheet from the Rosebud Motel and Project Runway did. This is bad and she also also kind of looks like Zelda. No, just me? Totally. Next up we have Alex Borstein and wow. Wow. <laughs> Oh, wow. Honey, you should have kept a closer eye on Lizzie McGuire because you should have gone to some of her fittings. Her looks were crazy, but they weren't this crazy. The only thing I feel like she's missing on this outfit is a little, like, leather paddle. So she... <laughs> she looks like she just came from getting her back blown out on Valentine's Day. Like, what is this? <laughs> The only redeeming thing about this is the fact that this woman was in the Lizzie McGuire movie. That's not even relevant to the situation, oh my god. Last but not least, we have Mikhail Bella Bowman in Prada. I think that this is gorgeous. There's a bit of fun with this white lotus looking kind of flower. And then the black part of this dress truly is so perfectly tailored to her body. This is everything and more. This is elegant, it's classy, it's just beautiful. That being said, I would ditch the headband because I don't think it's necessary. But wow, this is, this is really beautiful and a really Really nice note to end on. So oh, thank you so much, Mikhail Bella. You are very Bella. Well, guys, that was the Emmy red carpet rose. Thank God that's over. Now, if you want to see more of these, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell as we are just in full swing of award season. I'll probably be doing another one of these next week. Oh God, what award ceremonies next week? Everybody, please find new stylists immediately. Alrighty, I'm gonna go try and forget what I just saw. <laughs>